What's up guys, welcome to your 15th playthrough tutorial and in the last tutorial I talked to you guys about methods and objects and stuff. In this tutorial uh, I want to cover some methods that I didn't go over that are going to be useful later on. Uh, the first one is called index and what the index method does is pretty much search for the first occurrence of a value and say um, where in the list it is. So let's go ahead and make a quick saying. Uh, you can name your list say and let's put hey now brown cow and go ahead and put your little quotes around every word make sure I uh, spelled everything right brown core what the WTF uh, change that to cow now go ahead and press enter and once we have say make sure our list is created so let me show you guys what index fo does first put say index again you have your object and then you have your method and the parameter index takes you have to type in any element that you want to search for in your list. So let's go ahead and search for brown. So, and what it's going to do is once we have our object, our method, and uh, our parameter that we want to search for brown, it returns two. And remember, this is zero, one, two. So that's how you can search for words or numbers in a given list. Um, another thing that you can do is insert um, any elements into a list or sequence. And you can do this by using, of course, the insert um, method. So have say insert, and then you have two parameters. First, where you want to insert it, and second, um, what you want to insert. So say you want to insert Haas into position two. This is what you would do. And now do that, press enter, and it says, hey, now Haas, brown cow. Of course, it's zero, one. Your new two is Haas, and it kind of just push everything over a little bit. And besides that, when you have insert, of course you have to have a way to remove elements from a list too. So that method is pop. So put say dot pop, and by dot I mean period. And the parameters you have for this is what position in the list you want to remove it. So let's say we want to remove, uh, let's remove now. So this is zero, one, so pop one. Again, object element parameters, press enter, say, and of course hey hoss brown cow and another thing that pop does is unlike um, delete or anything like that it actually returns the value to you that you deleted from the list or popped out of it so that's a little different way where it differs from uh, another or all other types of common deletions so unless you want to use this value like in a program or something you would use pop if not you would use another deletion method um, the second to the last one I want to talk to you guys about is remove and what this does is remove the first occurrence of any word and of course that would be your parameter so have your object say list we want to remove and get out of here list what do we want to remove um let's remove brown why not so let's go ahead and do that and once we do that we should have hey hoss cow and again, this is a little different because instead of returning a value like pop, and this is, you would return a value if you want to use this value in a program, it just deletes it from the list and doesn't return it at all. So that's one way remove differs from pop. And the last one I'm going to talk to you guys about is reverse. So say, I'm not even going to tell you guys what this one does. It's pretty self-explanatory. Again, our old list, hey, hoss, cow. Our new list, cow, hoss, hey can't figure out what went on there with the keyword reverse well that's a shame so that is how you use all those methods um in the next tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys some awesome way how to sort so i would pay attention if i was you and i would also subscribe if i was you so thank you guys for watching and i look forward to teaching you next time